it's not too late. You still have time. Get out while you can! Hello everyone and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. It's me, Miss E, your favorite foodie. However, this video is not going to be about food. So if that is what you are here for, you can leave now. I will not be upset. If you watched my introduction video, I stated that all of the content would not be about food, but majority of it would be. This content is about the shirt I am wearing. As you can see, I want to say congratulations to all of the 2020 graduates who graduated from high school. That is fantastic. It does not get better. <laughs> Just kidding. But in light of recent events with the coronavirus and everything that is going on, I am here to tell you that I do not foresee the United States economy getting better anytime soon. So I'm trying to tell you all to save yourselves and do not go to college during this time. Now this is not to bag on college because college is not a bad thing. It's very good. I went to college so I cannot say, you know, anything bad about it because that would be hypocritical. However, considering I think we're approaching an impending recession or possibly depression, I want to save you all. I could not save myself, but I want to save you all. I made a list of possible jobs that could be done post 2020. I had originally made it for the beginning of the year before I knew anything about Corona and thought there was more opportunities, but most of the ones that I had on that list are still applicable now. Let me see if I can think of what they are. I made a list. I need to find the list. I said that to say that the majority fun part of college is your interaction with others and since this whole pandemic is going on and you're supposed to be social distancing even though I know a lot are not that will impede on your college activities and your fun I remember when I went to college we had gym jams which was basically just little dance parties for us and we had block parties like all of that fun stuff will most likely not be there for y'all and aside from that I feel like you will be paying way too much for not even, and it won't even be worth it. They have activity fees, or at least my college did, but what activities are you going to be doing in the middle of the pandemic? Not a lot. We had a shuttle fee, and I'm going to insert a clip because I seen one, I think it was a whole school system actually in North Carolina. I live in North Carolina so that's why I guess it came up on my feed but it said that they're gonna be charging regular price even though the classes will be online and I'm like what sense does that make? You will be better off and save more money if you go to a community college and get those same credits. I don't know about other states but at least in North Carolina I think all of the community colleges and the four-year colleges have some kind of agreement where basically your credits from the community college will transfer over. So if they're going to transfer over anyway, you could save your money, get half the cost, and then go back to a real college for the next two years if you so choose. But in all honesty, you don't really need to because unless you want to be like a doctor or something that requires those advanced degrees you don't really need those degrees but I found I found my list that I had made of jobs to do in 2020 and beyond I had originally wrote out this list before I knew about the pandemic so some of them 
may not be applicable anymore but I'm gonna list it off so you all know what to pick. It is not too late to write an email or an old-fashioned letter to your college that you've accepted to and say I'm no longer coming you absolutely can still do it. I'm trying to tell you get out now okay so this was the list of jobs I said to get in 2020 and beyond I said doctor lawyer or engineer now for that you will need college however everybody is not cut out for that nor wants to do that I know I don't IT or computers mmm some positions may you know it may be beneficial to have a college degree but not necessarily all I know two people who majored in computer science and they are saying most of it is certifications actually one of them is in the army now not even really using his degree he, he's doing stuff related to it but you don't have to have a degree to go into the army you can do that if you pass the physical and are old enough and they got a bunch of requirements but having a degree is now one of them okay moving on graphic design or video editing oh that is a good one considering how a lot of people are working from home now and we're advancing into the technology age people need to know how to do stuff like that content creators is actually could be considered a career now and you don't have to go to school to figure out how to do that either Will it be helpful? Probably. But you don't have to. You could probably get an associate's and associate's could do you just as much justice. I learned how to video edit and I never went to school for it. I know I don't have the fanciest editing out there, but as I practice I will get better. Let's see. Car salesman. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's a good one to have in 2020 and beyond because despite of everything that is happening, people need cars. You've got to be able to get to work if you're an essential worker. So, Plus, they make decent commissions. So if you could work for a car dealership, do it. Speaking of cars, the next thing on my list was mechanic. People are going to drive cars and those cars are going to break down. So if you know how to fix them, you could be getting money. I know because this, I just went and got my car fixed a couple weeks ago and they told me it was a couple other things wrong with it that I'm going to have to go back and get fixed again. Adulting! Let's see. Cars are an everlasting expense which brings me to my next job working at the gas station. You don't need a degree to work at the gas station. I hear Sheets starts off at a very decent rate. Sheets and they have food and stuff on the inside of them. Made to order food so that's fantastic. And also Speedway. I hear Speedway pays weekly. It's hard to find a job that pays you weekly nowadays. And you know you will have job security because until they invent hovercrafts we gonna be in these cars so apply at the gas station and the last thing I'm gonna say related to the cars and then I'll move on I promise truck drivers truck drivers very lucrative and always needed they've been working a lot during the pandemic you can't go wrong with truck drivers I think I saw on a billboard one time Walmart or might have been some other company but I think it was Walmart was hiring stuck truck drivers starting at ninety thousand dollars a year that's a good that's a good starting salary and you don't need a degree to be a truck driver all you need is your CDL license so I would say look into becoming a truck driver you can get your CDL at a community college and most of the courses are not that long I think maybe six months or less most likely and I think truck driving is a good field because you get to be alone, you don't have to work with people. People are low-key overrated. No, I think I'm going to cut that part out. 
me as truck drivers a good field to pursue job security decent money you can't go wrong they have whole truck driving gas stations just for truck drivers so that should let you know how important they are all right next on the list mm. Working at the bank because people need money. Always have, always will, and unless they come up with some sort of, I don't know, alternative to money, it ain't gonna change anytime soon. I hear they're trying to move towards being a cashless society, which I'm not 100% sure about that, but even if they do, I feel like somebody will have to manage the digital money. So still keep that in the back of your pocket working at a bank. That is job security. They're always there. They don't have to work on weekends except a few Wells Fargo's, I believe, have like Saturday hours. But banking, that's a good one. Ah, this is a very good one. Don't be turned off though. A funeral home worker. Yes, that is morbid. Very morbid of me to say. However, that one also has 100% job security. Everybody has to die. And unfortunately, the way Corona is running rampant in our country, they're going to die and possibly sooner than expected so if you work at a funeral home you good to go and i think they make decent money also you could be a mortician or just the person who works like i guess the receptionist or whatever for the, like an administrative assistant type situation but yes i say go for a funeral home because you know you will. You know you're going to have a job. All day, every day. People are dying every day. So. That was the last one. Working at a funeral home. Oh. This one is not on the list, but I just thought of it and I think it's a good one also. Starting your own business. You don't need a degree to start a business. You can do that on your own, from your home, on your couch. And with the way things are looking, it's risky to start a business, but if you get one up and running, you know you'll have job security because it's you're working for yourself so you'll know you will never fire yourself and you will always have some work to do. Make sure it's a profitable business though. Don't do something that nobody has any interest in and then are like oh my gosh I'm broke I can't believe it why is this happening to me. You gotta pick something that people need and you know they will buy and you have to do your research but I'm not recommending that one offhand because that is a lot of research and something you gotta look into and invest in and stuff like that. So, but it's just an option. But those are, how many was that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, it was 10. Those are 10 jobs I think you should get post 2020. Do not go to college. You will be wasting your time and money. Consider going to community college. If anything, the only ones that I said that you need a degree for was the doctor, lawyer, or engineering. But I do not think everybody will be, you know, wanting to do that. But yes. So moral of the story. Don't do it save your time and money so those are 10 jobs that you can do post 2020 post corona and hopefully they will help you out and you will 
make decent money off of them. You will have job security. That was the basis of what I made my list off of. Jobs that you could have job security on. So, congratulations again for graduating. This is beginning the rest of your life. It will probably be a roller coaster, but who's isn't? Thank you for watching. If you want to see more commentaries like this, comment below and let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next episode. Bye!